and we'll keep you up to date. Turning now uh, to the issue of fracking, it's fueling a controversy in the battleground state of Pennsylvania, the second largest natural gas producing state in the country behind Texas. Bernie Sanders wants to ban the practice, which many would fear would destroy the national economy. Joining us now to weigh in is Pennsylvania Congressman Fred Keller. Congressman, thanks for joining us today. So in Pennsylvania, fracking, um, that is a job that's, that uh, a ton of people are part of. Yeah, actually, in Pennsylvania, you know, if it were banned, it's estimated that it would cost over 600,000 jobs and about $260 in economic activity over the next five years. It's really important, not just to Pennsylvania, with lower energy costs. Uh, you know, it's average uh, about $1,100 per family in energy, lower energy costs because of the natural gas industry. So, and, and our national security, so it goes beyond Pennsylvania. I think it's a national issue. Um, and you know, regulation could kill those jobs, but there is something else going on right now, and that is the, the oil battle between Saudi Arabia and Russia, and the price of oil is coming down, and that's affecting the oil shale producers in the upper Midwest. How is it affecting the folks in Pennsylvania as far as the fracking uh, efforts are concerned? Well, when you're looking at Pennsylvania, again, it might have a, a devastating effect to the people in, you know, that rely on oil and shale gas. But it, in Pennsylvania, you know, we're, we're just fracking for uh, natural gas. Right. And, and there's huge benefits. And I think there's things we could do to encourage the use of that energy rather than trying to, uh, you know, uh, look for ways not to have it. I mean, the battle between Saudi Arabia and, and Russia, I, they're trying to destabilize our, our energy uh, independence and, and make us more reliant on uh, on foreign energy because of trying to put uh, American energy companies out of business. Yeah, and I, I mean, just to carry this through a little bit, natural gas would be an alternative to oil, and if the price of oil comes down, the argument is that factories and, and other uh, companies w will use that oil instead of fracking, which is why I asked you the question, are they being directly affected as we speak? I, I would say that anything that would happen would probably take a little while to, to impact, uh, you know, other sectors. But the thing I'd like to say is we can increase the demand for natural gas. I mean, mm -hmm. right now in Pennsylvania, there, there's, a, you know, an initiative to get some uh, petrochemical plants up that would use the natural gas, would use this energy, and, and keep the supply lines open. Again, the success and how efficient we've been at developing the natural gas has, has really, uh, really created, uh, you know, the abundance of it and opens up the door for many more opportunities, not just for people to get jobs and, and, and things. In Pennsylvania right now, the governor is poised to veto a bill uh, that would uh, not, not move forward on these initiatives to have additional industries using this energy resource. Congressman, why is Bernie Sanders so opposed to fracking? Well, I, I, you know, I, I, you hear the news reports and, and you know, the things that, that uh, Senator Sanders has been uh, been putting out there, and it's not just him, it's other people, but the question I have to ask is, you know, why, why are people opposed to uh, an energy independent United States, which relies upon us looking at all forms of energy and, and natural gas being a huge part of that? I, I would have to ask, you know, wh why are they opposed to American jobs, American security, and quite frankly, helping other foreign nations that don't like us by making our allies dependent on their energy? Uh, most people consider Pennsylvania a swing state. Uh, there are questions about the, about the president's strength there. Can you give us a lay of the land right now of how people are feeling? Because uh, the Democrats think that they have a chance to win Pennsylvania because jo Joe Biden is there. He has more of a blue collar appeal than uh, some other Democrats. How do you read it right now? Well, the thing I look at when you're looking at the landscape of, of Pennsylvania in 2020, it's similar to 2016 when you have candidates that uh, want to take jobs away from people that get up and go to work and work hard every day. I think that doesn't play very well. Uh, you know, the other thing I would say is, too, you know, both of the, those uh, Democrat candidates for president have both raised their hand on, on taking hard-earned taxpayer dollars and using it to purchase uh, health insurance for people that are in our country illegally. So I, I think there's a lot of dynamics at play in Pennsylvania, and the policies that Senator Sanders and Senator Biden uh, are espousing don't, don't match up with those of uh, working Pennsylvanians. What would you like to see done on behalf of those uh, in that industry in your state? Is there something you would like to see Congress do and or the president along with it? Well, I, I think the president and has done a lot of things that have been helpful. You know, you look at the, uh, the, the Jobs uh, Act and tax cuts, that's, that's been helpful for the, the uh, 
rebirth of the American economy. That was the tax cut a huge... couple years ago. Excuse me? That was the tax cut a couple years ago. Yeah, yeah, that was. And, and, and that, you know, policies where, where we've seen regulation, uh, reasonable regulation, but regulations that, that don't make sense removed from the books. Uh, you know, right in Pennsylvania, Governor, Governor Wolf could sign that uh, bill that's before him and help, uh, help Pennsylvania. But we just need to make sure that we're supporting the development of, of natural gas and America's energy. That's, that's what Congress and that's what the president has been, you know, the president's been doing and Congress needs to get behind him and help him work toward that goal of making sure that we remain energy independent. All right. Well, Congressman Fred